Hey everyone, today we are going to learn about the date functions in Tableau. I want to split this into two parts. So I'll first cover the basics and then I'll cover the more advanced stuff. So the basics will cover things of how do we get from string to date, how do we get certain parts of the date, how we do aggregation of dates. And the more advanced things, we will look at how to exclude weekends from our calculation, how to exclude holidays from our calculations. So yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing we want to look at is how do we transform text into date. So let's say I have my date as a text. The simplest way is just to go to the icon over here and change it to date. And instantly we will get our data transformed into a date format. So with date format, what happens is that you will automatically get to work with this hierarchy of year, quarter, month, and so on. But if we were to leave it as a text, let's see, this option would not be available. Tableau will just read it as text. Another way of how we can transform this is, let's say, we want to explicitly tell Tableau what is this format in. So based on this, right, Tableau is going to guess, this is probably the year, this is probably the month, this is probably the day. You will use this assumption and determine the date format. So over here, let's take a look at another example. So in this calculation, what I have tried to do is replace this dash with blank. So it will give me the text in this format. And now let's say I try to convert this to a date. Let's see what happens. So I click on this and select date. Now Tableau is still smart enough to understand where the year, the day and the month is. So now let's take a look at the formula over here. And see what happens. Tableau has automatically put in extra formulas over here. So what it's doing is that first, it is trying to use a date pass. So the date pass will convert a string to a date and it's based on this specific format. So automatically, Tableau detected that the dates are in this format over here. And if there are cases for some reason Tableau is not reading the correct date format, you can manually type in the format of your data. But I've not seen that happen before. Tableau has been quite good at transforming the text to date. And you'll notice that there's another expression here called date. So why this happens is that the result of this is giving a date time result. So over here, we have selected date. So by putting a date, it will remove the time format in this data. So if we change this to date time, you will see that we have the time value on the date. And if we look at the formula again, you will see that the date format is no longer there. So this is what this date is actually doing. It is removing the timestamp. So now the first thing we want to learn is how we can get the part of this text. So there's two ways we can get parts of the text. We can get a results in a numerical value. We can get the results in a text. So first, let's take a look at how we get the text part of this date. Here I have a formula. What I'm using is a date name. So if we go to this search text over here, and we search for date, we can see all the date functions. And here I've used the date name. So from this description, we can see that what it's doing is it's going to return a part as a string, which is what we want. We want a text part. So very simple, we just need to follow the formula prompt. We're going to put in the date part. So in this case, we are going to put month and we're going to put the date. And now let's drag this in and take a look at our result. So here, we get our date part in text. So these are January, this February, and so on. And we can also do things like maybe weekday, and this will give us the day of the week. Now let's take a look at how we can get the numerical part of this date. Okay, so if we go to this formula here, where we are looking at the numerical part of the date. So to do that, we are going to use the formula date. Part. So if you read the description, this is going to say that it's going to return a part of the date as an integer. So now in this case, let's do the same. We also want a weekday. So let's take a look at the result. And I want to convert this to a dimension. So you will see that Sunday is labeled as 1 and Saturday is labeled as 7. So what is this doing is that Tableau by default is going to set Sunday as the first day of the week. So now let's go back to our calculation. We will see this option where we can add the start of the week. 
So what we want to do is let's say we are calculating the weight. Okay, and let's take a look at the result. So now let's take a look at the 2017 calendar. We'll see that Saturday 7th of January is on the first week of the year. So what happens here is that if Sunday is determined as the first day, it is going to calculate this as week 1. Now let's say if we change this start of the week to Saturday, and we click on apply, watch this. Now this will be changed to week 2 because the Saturday before will be considered as the first week. So this is not exactly very useful here. When we want to use this is we want to set Monday as the start of the week and that is a very common start of the week that we might want to use instead of Sunday. The next thing we want to learn is to calculate the start of the week. Let's create a new calculated view. Let's call this start of week. I want to determine what is the start of the week based on this particular date over here. Okay, so I'm going to use the formula called date trunk. So what date trunk will do is that it will return this start of whatever date part we have set. So in this case, we want to look at the start of the week. So we will take in the week and we're going to take our date in. Okay, and let's see the result here. Okay, so here what we have is that for Saturday, we are getting 1st January as the first day of the week, which is a Sunday. And that is not what we want. We want Monday to be the first day of the week. So what we want to do here is that we are going to define in the date trunk formula that this should be a Monday. Again, you will see this date over here because this is converted into a date time. So we will want to remove the timestamp so we have a date appearing over here. And then we will see that now our start of the week is on a Monday which is 2nd of January. So with this date trunk, we also can do things like finding the start of the month. So for start of the month, it, it doesn't matter what week it is. And let's see our result. And here what we'll see is that on all the dates in January, it will show the start of the month which is 1st January. All the dates in February, you will see 1st February. And some other date functions that we will want to know is things like today. This will give us the current date. And if we use now, this will give us the current date and time. And to get different parts of the date, we have previously learned about date name and date part. We can also use functions like year to get the year of the date. We can use things like month. We can also have things like day. So all these functions will work as well to get the date part of the date. So let's also go through some date formatting. So here you will see the dates appearing as day, month and year. And I don't really like to use this format because it depends on which country you are at. The day or the month might come first. So it can be confusing. Is this one supposed to be the day or is this one supposed to be the month? So oftentimes I prefer to use text to avoid confusion. So what we can do is we can go on to the calculated field. We click on format and what we can do here is to format the text. So I often like to use a custom format so I can do things like date date dash month 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 dash year year. So this will give us the month in abbreviation. So other ways you can format it is let's say we want to see the full number of this year we can put four y's and it will give us 2017 and if you do not want the zero to be in front of a single number we can just put a single day and this will give us 1. Now for the last part of the basic date function, we want to take a look at how we can do date aggregation. Let's take for example, based on this date, I want to calculate the previous month. So how can I do that? We are going to use the function date add. And we are going to use month because we want to find 1 month ago. And this interval will be minus 1. And we have the date our ship date over here and let's take a look at the result 
and there we have our date minus one month so this is 7 january and we are getting 7 december so we can do the same to add one month so instead of minus one we just need to use one and there we will have this will be 7 january and now we have 7 february so of course you can change the parts accordingly we can add a year and we'll see this is 2018 now let's learn how we can find the difference between two dates so we're going to use the function called date diff let's say i want to know how many days it has passed from today to this ship date so i'm going to use day and my start date will be the ship date and the end date will be today so we're going to use the today function over here and we want this to be days from today okay so let's take a look at the result so here we have our days calculated so this will be from today which is 29th of October 2,121 days has passed so we can also change this to say year and from 2017 to 2022 it is five years so that's all for the basic date functions in Tableau do keep a look out for the next video where I will cover more advanced date functions and see you next time mm -hmm.